This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, 4th September 2024. Welcome to News Trail. I am Madetola Kayode. President Bola Tinubu and President Xi Jinping have agreed to build a high-level Nigeria-China community with a shared future. Both presidents met in Beijing, China, where they announced the elevation of Nigeria-China ties to that of a comprehensive strategic partnership ahead of the Africa-China Summit. President Tinubu says it's an important visit for Nigeria and the rest of Africa, noting that relations between Nigeria and China have lasted for over half a century century and should be further strengthened to advance trade and economic development programs in both countries. He assured him of effective implementation of ongoing economic reforms in the country. President Xi says both countries have found the path of seeking collective strength through unity and win-win cooperation. The Chinese leader pledged that Nigeria and China would continue to work closely within the model of cooperation between nations. Dangote Refineries has rolled out its first premium motor spirit PMS, also known as petrol, from its 650,000 barrels per day from its 650,000 barrels per day facility. Owner of the Lagos-based refinery and billionaire businessman Aliko Dangote assured all citizens that they are now going to have good petrol with the engines of their vehicles lasting longer. He affirmed that the quality of its product will match that of anywhere in the world, including in the U.S., assuring that as soon as this company finalizes modalities with the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPCL, the product will hit the market. Last December, Dangote, Africa's leading industrialist, commenced operations at its $20 billion facility sited in Lagos with 350,000 barrels a day. The refinery, which was initially bogged by regulatory battles, hopes to achieve its full capacity of 650,000 barrels per day by the end of the year. The refinery has begun the supply of diesel and aviation fuel to marketers in the country and now petrol. In the meantime, the Nigeria Labor Congress has demanded an immediate reversal of the hike in fuel price as announced by the NNPCL, saying the hike has worsened the misery of Nigerians. Amidst the lingering fuel scarcity in the country, NNPCL increased the pump price of petrol from 568 to 855 and 897 naira depending on location per liter. Pope Francis, the head of the world's 1.3 billion Catholics, has met Indonesia's President Joko Widodo in Jakarta in the first major set piece of his tour. The Pope is on a three-day visit to the Muslim-majority nation before he travels to Papua New Guinea, East Timor, and Singapore on the longest trip of his papacy. He urged political leaders in Indonesia, the world's most populous Muslim-majority country, to guard against religious extremism, which he said destroyed distorted people's religious beliefs through deception and violence. In his first speech during an ambitious 12-day journey across Southeast Asia, where Christians are a small minority of the regional population, the pontiff said the Catholic Church would increase its efforts towards interreligious dialogue in hopes of helping stamp down extremism. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember to trust your instincts. It's the best way to make the right choice. Have a fantastic midweek.